glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds in the welterweight division, each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Roberto Duran's making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. Oscar De La Hoya's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Fifteen rounds scheduled here in this much-anticipated fight, and we are under... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. De La Hoya is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. If I'm the fighter with high stamina fighting a fast, speedy guy like this, and you're my trainer, what are some of the things I absolutely have to remember that you told me? When you get on the inside, you better not make silent agreements and allow the faster guy to tie you up. You better be working, starting to take some gas out of his tank. Good defense just covering up down low. Engages in the clinch. Roberto Duran's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. He just missed that shot up top. Protecting his head well with his guard. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Duran's right hand scores well that time. Right to the belt line. There's a straight right hand. Able to get rid of that one. Hey, keep your hands up. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. De La Hoya's got to deal with a cut sheet. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Roberto Duran. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Blocks that belt line well. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. He missed with that headshot. Oh, 
Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You, you dropped. You okay? You're afraid to go in that room I again. So put a light on in that room and explain that. to okay, him why he got dropped. Got he will not be okay, afraid to go. go back in that room. Start of a new round. De La Hoya is making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. I see it. Let it go. Oscar he blocks that nobody. punch. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. I remember watching the fight that night and thinking to myself, this is the most satisfying feeling Oscar De La Hoya has ever had, and that was when he TKO'd Fernando Vargas. Well, it was for a lot of reasons. First of all, because a lot of people were saying straightforwardly that Vargas was more Mexican than De La Hoya was. You know, that they embraced Vargas, but De La Hoya was too pretty. He didn't fight the way maybe they thought a Mexican fighter should fight. And by knocking out one that was embraced by the Mexican fans, I think that was extra satisfying to show, hey. Roberto Duran's been hurt by that shot. Comes across with a hook up top. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Shake it up. Good way to protect the midsection. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Up top with the right hand. Good flush double jab by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Headshot lands, was a hook. Downstairs with a right hand. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're gonna be in for a real treat. No, we will be, because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Body and head. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Pulls 
the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Trinidad Moses. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Go, Teddy, go. is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Not able to land the headshot. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Not precise at all by Roberto Duran. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Roberto Duran. Count down the final moments of this round. Get after him. And that's the end of round three. You hear me? Escuches. This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. Looking good. Looking good. Keep your hands up, all right? You're doing fine. All right, breathe, deep breath, deep breath. Get some more. You good? You all right? Now breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. So tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. don't need that, I'm throw that away. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. Body shot lands, it was the right. Oscar De La Hoya stunned and staggered. Blocks the headshot. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone, and now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which... And yet another big shot comes in. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. Roberto Duran's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Halfway through round number four. Beat him to the punch! Duran swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Just like that. Just like that. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Ha <laughs> ha. 
You got this one! Roberto Duran's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Not much action as there he just go. ties up. Going. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. And that's the end of round four. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. I need you to keep oh, moving this round. Stay on your feet. You don't need that. No, throw that away. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Able to dismiss that body shot. Hey, De La Hoya is hit by a counter punch there. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. De La Hoya is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. I want to ask you your thoughts as to the strengths of Oscar De La Hoya, but I want to ask one very specific strength, and that is that he's naturally left-handed, but yet fights in an orthodox stance. Well, that happens more often than you think. You know, a lot of times, you have a guy who's naturally lefty, he wants to be a southpaw, but you figure, hey, as he starts moving forward. Durant's damaged by a right hand. Big, big shot comes crashing home, and he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. Duran's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you'd give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Damaged. What a big shot. Durant's battered and beaten. I don't know that this fight's going to continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, He's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Ten seconds to go in this round. That's what I want to see. 
And round five comes to an end. De La Hoya's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. Keep it up and keep doing exactly what you're doing, baby. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Now just go for the head. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Able to cover up that gut. De La Hoya is doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is Durant stunned by that shot. Big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Stops the fight. Oscar De La Hoya's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Oscar De La Hoya's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.